Nagaland, on the northeast frontier of India, ringed by mountains and covered by jungle, a lovely land of lush hills and evergreen valleys, remote from the hustle and bustle of modern life. Home of the many Naga tribes, virile warriors and hardy peasants. Nagaland is flanked on the west and the north by the Mikir Hills and the North Kachar and Sipsagar districts of Assam. On the south and east by Manipur and Burma and containing the districts of Kohima, Mokakchung and Tunsang. Kohima town, the hub of Nagaland, nestling in the sweep of the jungle matted hills. Once unknown to the outside world, it flashed into fame in the fury of World War II. Today, 18th February 1961, it wears a festive look, for it is a day of days, a day that will be long remembered in the history of Nagaland. People from all over the hills gather in strength to witness a memorable event, the inauguration of the interim body and the executive council for Nagaland, the first step in the direction of full-fledged statehood within the Indian Union. The governor of Assam, General Srinagesh, arrives for the historic ceremony. Dr. Imkongjiba Ao, president of the Naga People's Convention, accompanies the governor. Introductions follow. The 42 members of the interim body are presented to the governor. Representing the 16 different tribes that constitute Nagaland, they represent the former forerunners to the legislative assembly which will come into being when the fully-fledged state is created. Welcoming the people, Dr. Ao reviews the brief and checkered history of this strife-torn region. He appeals to them to give up violence and work together for the good of the new state of Nagaland. The commissioner reviews the progress of the state. Inaugurating the executive council and the interim body, the governor emphasizes the need to restore peace and work together to bring a new, happier light into the darkness that clouded the Naga Hills during the last few years of strife and bitterness. The solemn swearing-in ceremony. Turn by turn, the new members pledge themselves to the Constitution of India to assist and advise the governor in the administration of their state, to end bloodshed and violence, and to usher in an era of peace and unity in this colorful land. A land with its own distinctive culture and way of life, which finds expression in the resplendent costumes, the traditional songs and gay dances. historic day draws to a close, we join the people in their favorite greeting, Vivole, Vivole, which means may good fortune be with you. And may good fortune be with the people of Nagaland. And glory be to the new venture which is being launched today. Oh, 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 oh,